Good morning, everyone. It's Ray Prinz, MLA for Lacombe Pinot. And we just want to wish everyone a, a great day today and also a great uh, time. On behalf of the Council of Lacombe County and the residents of the county, I'd like to congratulate the city on their first Lacombe Days as a city. Hi, my name's Gary Marr. Many years ago, I was the Minister of Community Development. We had a program called the Main Street Program. There isn't any place anywhere in Alberta that did a better job of making sure their Main Street looked great. Uh, the City of Lacombe should be very proud of the work that it's done. And I'm really happy to be here at Lacombe Days with my family. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to be in the parade. So I'll look forward to seeing you and have a great Alberta day. Great day for a parade. Beautiful day in Lacombe. Everybody enjoy themselves and have fun. Welcome to the Michener House Museum. Today it's our annual uh, pancake breakfast fundraiser. So thank you for joining us. Um, here at the museum we collect items to do with Roland Michener. He was born in this very house. Items in this house reflect um, the period in which it was built and the, the lifestyle of people who lived here in the early 1900s. This is a manually operated washing machine. In modern times we have a spin cycle. This hand crank lets you operate the machine and replicate that spin cycle to wash your clothes. Heritage and history is very important to the residents of Lacombe. They take a lot of pride in the beautiful buildings that are here and, and really demarcate and give an identity to our town. And also, um, this year is actually our first anniversary as a city, and so we are celebrating um, in large droves our lovely Lacombe days, and also remembering those who have shaped the city and really left a mark on our hit local history here, such as Roland Michener himself and also Ed Barnett and other pioneers who really shaped the city and made it what it is today. At the blacksmith shop you have to use many different tools. One of the traditional tools used is the anvil. The anvil is where the blacksmith would have used the hammer to hammer out different shapes for the iron. Always loved this thing. It's a kind of a dying art. So, got in here through Bill and trying to bring this back and get as much experience as I can. There was in Lacombe at one time. There was five blacksmiths, six for a short while, and now I doubt it if there may be even five blacksmiths in all of Alberta. Hi. Here we're standing outside the Lacombe Museum and Interpretive Center, the Flatiron Building. This building is Lacombe's most remarkable architectural icon and really demarcates the historic downtown. Come and join me, let's take a look inside. The city of Lacombe is named after Father Albert Lacombe. He was a Catholic missionary originally from saint sulpice Quebec. He is best remembered for his efforts towards bringing long-lasting peace in the central Alberta region. Here we have a picture of Ed Barnett and Elvie Green. Ed Barnett was a member of the Northwest Mounted Police, and Alvy Green was the first school teacher here in Lacombe. All of the photographic reproductions that you see here in the museum are based off the collection of the Ben Cameron Studios. Ben Cameron Studios was active from approximately 1910 to 1965. Today, a lot of what we know about our own history is from these very photographs. Here is a historic photograph of what the train station originally looked like around 1911. It is no longer in existence today. At one point, there were up to five blacksmith shops active at the same time here in Lacombe. 
That meant that Lacan was very much a prosperous center. Here we have a branding iron. This would have been traditionally used by blacksmiths to brand animals, such as cattle. And Darren is also a half marathon runner. Good work, Darren. Good run. What's that? Oh, a whole host of runners coming on in. Good work. Good run. Strong finish. Hi, I'm Sergeant Steve Murray with the Lacombe Police Service. There's many special events, uh, not only during Lacombe days, but throughout the year. You'll find Lacombe is a great community to visit and have fun in. We pride ourselves on having a safe community, and we're proud to be part of that safety. If you have any, ever any questions or concerns, please contact us at the Lacombe Police Service, and we'll be happy to help. Lacombe is definitely a uh, cultural capital of Alberta. We have so many things going on this weekend and even right behind you, a great celebration is happening with kids uh, as they have their uh, penny carnival going on. So many other things are happening in town as well. We want to stay here. We want people to come and we want them to stay as well. Right.